This is Twit. This app is called My Talking Pet. My Talking Pet. And um, it was free the other day when I got oh, it. Oh, is it? Does it cost now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's three ninety nine. dollars <gasps> Oh, is we it one ninety nine or $3.99? $3.99, it looks like. Because oh, it's so my fantastic. Goodness. Um, and let's... And I showed you okay, hold I... on. Let me rewind it to the beginning. This... <laughs> Is your dog and this is my dog Henry. Mm -hmm. He is a full bred Chihuahua. Oh, he's so sweet. Let's see what he has to say. My name is Henry, and I sure do wish I could like iOS today, but the fact is, I really can't. The reason is my dad sits in front of the computer talking to someone instead of playing with me. But I'm a good boy, and I hope it goes well regardless. Dad, if you're seeing this, come give me a treat and a pet. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh my goodness, you did it really well. Mine uh, oh, were, were not quite as as good, but um, let's see if I I know I was using this on my iPhone. Oh, there. Okay, thank goodness I have it on my uh, iPad. So, how long have you had this app? Oh, that's a good question. So I've, I've had it for a couple years, actually. It used to be that the only way you could uh, access it was via an so. Well, when did iOS uh, or when did iMessage apps come out? Because uh, was that iOS 11 or I iOS think 10? It was 10, iOS 10. Okay, yeah, I think so. And that it used to just be an iMessage app and you couldn't access it anywhere else and they didn't have all those extra options um, for, for built-in animals. And so you sort of took a photo of your dog, you did the little process where you mark out where, or animal, I should say, not just dog, you mark out where the mouth is, where the eyebrows are, and then you can record a message and send it with an iMessage. Um, so I had been using it for a long time and then I tucked it away for a while. I just didn't have a reason to use it and uh, not too terrible long ago, I remembered there was like some joke that I wanted to make that involved one of my dogs. And so I brought it back out again. And then I saw that you were using it uh, before we were going to be doing the show. And I was like, yes, oh, I love this app. It's so much fun. I love it too. I wondered if it uh, could hear you talking because I just pressed record. They, it has the images images already in there if you don't want to use your own dog. Let me see if it heard you. Can you hear that? Oh, yeah, it is you. Yeah. Okay. There. Let's see. Or animal, I should say, not just dog. You mark out where the mouth is, where the eyebrows are, and then <laughs> you can record a message. And <laughs> so I could make the tone really high Deep where voice. you can't hear it. <laughs> um, or really low. <laughs> Vader dog. Yeah, kind of. And I could add a mustache to the dog if I wanted to. You can add like head, heads. What, what am I trying to say? Hats. Head I don't gear, know. Yeah. Word. Head mm -hmm. gear. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. Oh, and yeah. the way that that's working is it's using, so it does some automatic detection of where uh, it thinks the pet's face is. I've seen that not working as well lately. Um, so then you just have to go in. There are the, like these little dots that are all mm -hmm. connected. And you go in and you just mark like the corner of the mouth, the corner of the mouth, the bottom of the mouth, the chin, the eyebrows, et cetera. Um, and then it uses all that information to sort of figure out how to do movement for, there you go. Yeah, with eyes and the mouth and uh, uses that to figure out movement for speaking uh, via your animal. And it's, I think it's just, it's, it's fun. It's kind of creepy. Uh, some people were a little, you know, creeped out by it, but I think it's hilarious in any case. And um, yeah, like you said, if you don't have a pet, <laughs> you can, yeah. And you want a talking pet, I guess? Then this is a good way. So here's what you were describing. So I uh, here's this picture of Gilbert, and then I move the eyes here, and then here's his chin, here's his mouth. So yeah, there's three dots. Oh, goodness. Yeah, it's not easy, but I think that I've gotten his mouth there. And then... Yep. Those um, need to go on either side of his head. Yeah. And then I think I could also do pointy ears, pointy ears on. He said it's <laughs> pointy ears. Yes, and that would also work if you have a kitty cat. Right. And that looks, does that yeah, look good? Yeah, that's okay. And then, it's okay, yeah. And then you can always edit it too, uh, folks, if you you know need to go back and try right. again. So <clears throat> there it is. And then I'll record, I deserve a treat too. 
and we'll make it very high. <laughs> or lower. I deserve a treat too. <laughs> oh, I love that's how it the does... perfect voice. Yeah, because yours, think... yours is already high. So yeah. I deserve a treat too. <laughs> I love that voice so much. <laughs> so I could edit it, um, or I could give him some sunglasses. I deserve a treat too. <laughs> there, that was, he's very smart. So I wish. Oh, so I guess yeah, you, you should be able to move it afterward, but it's yeah. using your your placement um, with mm. the little dots, unfortunately. Oh, but yeah, I think God, you should okay. be able to edit it afterward yeah. a little bit. And then I can uh, save it and um, I can share it through iMessage or save it or I could send it to John's Mac Pro, which I'm going uh, <laughs> to. And I think I'll <laughs> send it to Anthony hey. too. Why not? <laughs> Hopefully their airdrop is on. I think um, the thing that's most incredible about this app is, or I don't know if incredible is the right word, but the thing that's very cool about this app is the way that it goes about editing, figuring out how it needs to add different uh, data to the photo to make it look like the mouth is moving. So you'll notice that when the mouth was opening, then it filled that space in with more black pixels. And the way that the head moves, it sort of is doing an automatic detection to sort of fill in the space as it moves the head around. That's no small thing. Like that's a that's that's a complicated thing. Anybody who's ever been in Photoshop and done like a, a content aware fill or content aware scale knows that that's kind of a difficult thing to do. So I was honestly surprised that the app was free. Now that Megan and I have been talking about it on Twitter, that's why it costs money now, exactly. of course. Well, but <laughs> I heard it. about it because um, I follow a Twitter account called App Sliced. And they, I think it was absolute, and they said it was free just for the day. And so I was Whoa, like, oh. so maybe it's been, maybe it's cost recently. Yeah. yeah. Okay, interesting. Um, but Yasmin, we were discussing this yesterday, and I just wanted to let you know, because she works at Google, um, and you sent her the iOS link, but that it yeah, also- Yeah, that was nice of you. You sent the Android link. <laughs> so, uh, and hers is one of my favorites. So you can use Cartoon Dog. I don't, I don't know if this is a picture of her real dog, but I got to play this because it's amazing. I'm a cartoon dog. I have a feeling that her daughter uh, drew that because okay. that is her dog. Okay. Uh, and I think that that's either her or her daughter right next to the dog. That's adorable. Um, it uh, really is. You can use, I mean, I, I'm not going to suggest this. Because uh, you could upset somebody, but you can use human faces mm -hmm. in in the app as well, <laughs> which I have done before with my mom, and she thought it was funny. So, okay. it was good. 